Hey there guys, welcome to my mini teach for today, a big g'day from down under and this is um, a short power pack of teaching in less than 10 minutes. Are you ready? Let's go. Alright, so we are looking at uh, another one of my faith passages from Proverbs. What does it mean to bind mercy and truth about your neck? Let's read the um, let's read the scripture in Proverbs three verses three and four, which says, "Let not mercy and truth forsake you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart, and so find favor and high esteem in the sight of God and man." All right. So this is important because if we want favor both with God and with man, we need to have these principles. What are these principles? What does it mean for them to be bound around our neck and written on the tablet of our heart? And these things are quite, um, remember this is, this is Jewish Hebraic writing. We need a Hebraic understanding of what this means. It's similar to when other places, particularly in the Torah, the first five books of the Bible, speak about binding around your neck, writing on the tablet of your heart, and that is talking about the law. But here specifically, the mercy that is spoken of and the um, the mercy and the truth in, in terms of the, I don't have the Hebrew words off the top of my head, but essentially the mercy here actually means something um, akin to like marriage vows, like covenantal love. And ultimately we are covenanted with the Lord in our new covenant in our new covenant understanding in the work of the cross in what jesus did to restore us to the father we are in this space of covenant with god again and we are grafted into the into the into the into the branch sorry we're grafted into the vine we are the branch grafted into the vine of israel we are the people of god and we are covenanted to him and this is what it's talking about it's referring to mercy it's talking about our vows our vows to god and ultimately our Others. What is the only law that is binding upon us in the new covenant? It is to love God with all of our heart, every part of who we are, and to love our neighbor as ourselves. The law, what I like to call the law of love. That is what is binding upon us, and that needs to be absolutely part of who we are. And then, of course, the truth that is spoken about is actually probably better reflected as faithfulness faithfulness so if we have these two virtues of being bound to God and to others in love and to remaining faithful to what he's given us what he's given us in our hand if we bind it around our neck and write it on the tablet of our heart it means it has intrinsically become a part of our nature all right you're binding it that's just like uh, clasping it clasping like a, a necklace you know, for something in modern terms, like something that you're wearing and you're, you're tying it to yourself, right? So you're binding it to yourself. Writing it on the tablet of the heart means writing it on who you are, the very core and essence of who you are. And that is, what is it? It is um, to be faithful to God, you know, to remember our vows before God and um, to be faithful to one another. And to, yeah, to, to keep that as core of who we are. These should be our absolute core beliefs. So that's what it means essentially to bind mercy and truth around our neck and write it on the tablet of our hearts. And praise God, this is where favour is found. Many of you go, I want the favour of God. Well, the favour of God is found in his will. The favour of God is found in all of these things. And when we have the favour of God, by natural um, extension, we will receive favor from men. And that's spoken about elsewhere in Proverbs. So favor from God first, then extends to favor with man. So we have favor both with God and with man. And we bind these things around our neck and write them upon the tablet of our hearts. Amen. Has this blessed you? Let me know in the comments. Please share it. And I'll see you in my next mini teach. All right. Big day from down under. See you later. Bye.